to another video. So today, finally, I'm sharing with you my workspace and how it looks like, where I spend most of my time, where I create jewelry and how I organize this space. I got a new table. So it's also a kitchen trolley from Ikea and that's the one I originally wanted to have but it was a bit too expensive and I didn't want to get a new one same reason um, that I just didn't want to have a trouble later on so I wanted to get something cheaper and I finally found it on Gumtree for £20 so excellent value for money and I couldn't be happier so yeah I hope you will enjoy watching this video and let me know in the comments what you think. Okay, so starting from the top, this is my soldering station. As you can see, it hasn't changed much. I still got exactly the same tools that I purchased in the very beginning. So that tells a lot. What I've got here is absolutely enough for you to create jewelry on a daily basis. And this is my crock pot where I clean and pickle jewelry, quenching bowl, third hand. Actually, I will need another third hand, so I will purchase that, but they're not too expensive, so that's good. I've got some tweezers here, and this is my torch. It's by Dremel. I've been using it since the very beginning, and it's perfect for my needs. I don't need anything bigger or stronger at the moment with the jewelry that I create, so I'm very happy with that one. Then moving on here, I've got some bits and bobs for my rotary hand tool. And yeah, so I'm using them on a daily basis. Then here's my steel block, which I use to hammer things on top of it. And then we have two little pots here. In the first one, I keep my tools for setting stones. So like prong pusher, burnishers, things like that. Nothing too exciting. <laughs> then here I have all the files. So uh, needle files and regular files and bathing sticks, also my scissors and a little sharpie that I use to mark on metal to know where I need to cut etc. Then here is my one of my ring mandrels. I'm still using it for the reference size but it's not a good mandrel and it was very cheap. I got it on Amazon so but it's still here. I'm still using it. Then moving on here, this is the jeweler's best friend and it's a bench peg with anvil that I can attach wherever I want to. If you're making jewelry, you don't need that, but you need that. <laughs> you can attach it anywhere. I used to have it on here before I got my little bench. So now I got it here and I saw on it and I just use it for work on a daily basis. It's very handy and I usually have it here but because I then cannot really access my draw so if I'm not working on it I tend to just move it to the side here. So let's see inside the draw then. <laughs> what do we have here? Because I'm not using this one that often, I don't need access to it, I keep my solder in here, my scale, some empty bags there, and this drawer I'm actually using every day. And to be honest, it's usually empty because everything's on top here and probably I shouldn't have cleaned the table for this video. So I've, I've tidied up, I've cleaned the table because it's not like this every day. Every day it's messy around here. I've got many like pieces at different various stages of progress and all of my tools. So actually Maybe that would be more interesting for you to see, but keep um, keep an eye on my Instagram because that's where I usually share like behind the scenes videos, uh, photos and pictures. So yeah, but in here I've got all of my pliers and cutters and I'm using them every day. Very handy 
I've got flat nose ones, ring bending pliers. This is a new ring bending pliers tool that I purchased recently. And then I've got my hammers here. So this is my row height mallet and some ball pin hammers. You know, this one from another video, like tiny but very cute little ha uh, hammer. This is a riveting hammer, new ball pin hammer. It's very well made, very good weight and I've been using it, been very happy with it. Okay, so now moving on down here. This is where I keep my saw frame and this is a little like wire basket thingy <laughs> that I got from Flying Tiger and I used it on my previous bench but it's actually quite useful here too it gives me extra space so that's where I keep my cloth for cleaning jewelry and this is where I have uh, ring mandrels if you're getting a ring mandrel get one with sizes on it don't waste your money getting the cheaper one without sizes on it because you will need one with sizes later on and that way you will end up buying them twice. So I've got two of them, it's okay. <laughs> but yeah, get one with the sizes on it. And then below here, I have ring measuring tool, some saw blades and abrasive discs. Then this is my old saw frame here. And this is where I keep Googles and gloves if I need them. And also this is where I keep my tripod for soldering. So I don't really have enough space on top of the bench. So I keep it here and if I need to use it, I take it out. And in this little corner there we have bango mandrels. <laughs> So this is where I keep most of my supplies and gemstones and things that I use every day so they are at hand. And this is where I keep most of my silver supplies. And in the back I've got another little box in which I have double-sided tape that I showed you in a um, sewing video that I use for sticking my designs onto metal sheet and sewing that out and also the elastic cord again things that I'm not really using too often but they're there if I need them in here I've got gold uh, and gold filled um, supplies and also some silver ones in this little box here I keep some of my finished jewelry or bracelets and things for reference so my uh, prototypes <laughs> of the jewelry this is where I keep some of the tiny gemstones for rings and this is my little <laughs> junk box to be honest because everything's in here I've got my silver scraps got some gemstones um, different uh, bits and attachments for a prong pusher, ring sizer, yeah, so quite a lot of things that I couldn't find proper space for, so they are all in here and if I need them I can take them out. And on here I've got three little boxes and the first one is I'm using for sorting my work in progress, so if someone ordered something and I'm working on a few orders um, simultaneously I usually mark them and keep them in here if I can't finish something at once so I know where it is and what who it belongs to in this little box I try to uh, keep some of things that I can pre-made and in this little box I've got some findings that I mostly purchased in the past I'm not really using them anymore but I still keep them here because they might be useful and in this little lunar box I keep my gemstones that I'm using that I want to have quick access to basically and um, on here and in this little box here I've got tape for protecting my fingers and beeswax for saw blades. Okay, now moving down here, I have a little wooden box in which I keep 
little sign like this for videos, extra masks, some props for photography, like little marble bits and bobs like that, and also stickers that I make myself. Then here I keep my stamping, like stamps with letters. And then on this side, I have a little box for some rubbish, if I need to put them in here. And two little boxes with some supplies. So in the first one, there are some extra spare bits and bobs, some copper. I'm not really working with copper, so I'm not really using this. But I have it if I wanted to create something out of copper. And then some ink for stamps, extra notepads. Yeah, so that's what's in this little box here. And in the last box, which is a bit heavier, and in this little box I have some stock <laughs> with beads that I'm not currently using, but I've got some designs in mind that I think I will be trying later on. So that's what I keep in here. And now let's just go back up here because I forgot to show you where I keep my masks. And, and here I've got my flex shift. So the Dremor uh, rotary tool. And then this is my like shift that I use and that was an excellent purchase because now I can polish and just work with jewelry for much longer. <laughs> when I was holding this in my hand my hand was just going numb after 10 minutes but with this that's no longer the case. So yes this is my little bench, my current workspace, where I spend most of my time. And I hope you enjoyed watching what I've got on here, how I organized this space. As you can see, I don't have a lot of tools. I don't have a lot of supplies either. I work with what I have at the moment. If I need something, I will go buy it. Um, because I prefer to have less than more and I want to be flexible in case I need to move somewhere so I can take everything with me. Yeah, so thank you so much for watching. Take care and I will see you in the next video.